Despite yesterday's weakness, we still think the market's in good shape here to move higher to new all-time highs early this year. Hi, I'm Mark Garbiner, and this is S&P's Chart Room. Taking a look at a daily chart of the S&P 500, uh, we were looking for a pullback uh, to the breakout level around the 1810, 1812 area. Uh, we got very close to that yesterday on an intraday basis. There's three pieces of support right in this 1810-ish uh, area. Uh, we had the breakout level, which is chart support. Uh, we had trend line support going back to the uh, lows since October. And we also had the 34-day exponential moving average that came in, uh, which held uh, during the recent weakness uh, towards the end of December. So we had three pieces of uh, potential technical support all in the same area so far that has held. And we've had a nice bounce today up above the 1830 level. So from a real uh, near-term perspective, it looks like we had just a very small uh, three-wave decline uh, or an ABC decline uh, back down to the breakout area. Uh, and we think that uh, it, you know, it's possible that the worst is over. Uh, we could have some more testing uh, of this breakout area, but it's very possible here that the, the worst of this minor pullback uh, is over. When we look at an intermediate term uh, picture, the price action remains bullish in our view. Uh, but we want to take a look at uh, some of the breadth indicators and see if they're confirming uh, the recent move to all-time highs. If we just take a simple look at the NYSC AD line, uh, we recently hit all-time highs, uh, which confirms the move in prices to a new high. Uh, basically, the AD line is just the advances minus declines on a cumulative basis. And as we've noted uh, over the past couple months, the AD line generally will peak uh, before prices as fewer and fewer uh, stocks participate to the upside. Uh, generally, there's a, you know, a couple month uh, or more lead time uh, that we get from the AD line before we get a peak in prices. Uh, so uh, this suggests that we uh, have not seen the high in price yet for the S&P 500. And then if we take an AD line of the up minus down volume on the NYSE, it's another AD line just using volume. We also see that, you know, a very similar picture. Uh, we had a recent high here uh, in this AD line of volume, uh, which is very bullish. Uh, so volume is also confirming uh, the move in prices. So once this little pullback ends, we do see the S&P uh, moving to new all-time highs, uh, perhaps above the 1900 level uh, before this run ends. This has been Mark Arbiter with S&P's Chartroom.